Hey, what's up everyone? I'm gonna show you how to set up your nerdordie.com alerts with Streamlabs. And I'm gonna show you in this video with the Synthwave alerts, but I wanna let you know, this process is gonna be exactly the same for all of our alert packs. So just follow this guide and you'll be good to go. So with it downloaded and unzipped, all you need to do is go into the Streamlabs folder and then just double click the link here and it'll open up in a browser and begin the import process. Now we can import it into any one of our current widget themes or we can create a new one, but I wanna just go ahead and go into the demo theme here. And once that's done, we need to add this into either OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. Let's start with OBS Studio. And what we need to do is grab the widget URL by clicking the copy button. And in OBS Studio, we'll add a browser source. Hit okay here and just paste it in. And once it's loaded in, we can just send through a test to make sure that everything's working. Now, really quickly, what you might notice is that it's very close to the sides here. What we can do is go back into the source and adjust the width and height to something a bit larger. And this is gonna be different for every type of alert pack that we have. So refer to your setup guide and make sure you got the proper width and height that you need. So let's give that one more test before we move on. So with OBS Studio covered, let's take a look at Streamlabs OBS. All we need to do in Streamlabs OBS is go into it and hit the plus here and add in an alert box. Once that's added in, we'll hit add source and then we can even test it right up here. So let's go ahead and throw through a test subscription and we'll see it come through and everything is looking pretty great. But like our other one in OBS Studio, it's pretty close to the edges. And down here, if we had something like a message, we'd probably see some clipping. So to go ahead and fix that, we'll just increase the width and height and send through another test subscription and make sure everything's working just fine. And we can see it's working in here as well. And that pretty much covers everything that you need to know with your alerts for Nerd or Die. If you're using something like XSplit, you'll be able to add in a browser source and paste in your widget URL, just like you did with OBS Studio. And if you have any problems, you can always send us a message and let us know. Just to kind of give you an idea as well, you can add a browser source into Streamlabs OBS if you'd really like. There's really no big advantage to it other than you can specify the URL. So if you're not too sure what that means, we can kind of cover that in a future video and show you the advantages of that as well. But let's just send in another test with our browser source shown and you'll see it works the exact same way. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please send us a message if you have any questions and we'll see you next time.